Uh, fun fact, we're gonna start with a fun fact. Do you know who my very first interview was when I started covering film with? Who I talked with? Danny, Channing Tatum. Danny DeVito. <laughs> no, I never met him before, he's cool. Oh, really? 21 Jump Street in Austin, Texas. Really? You were my very yeah. first. Wow. And here we are. It's a good first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I started, as, as that's coming out of my too, mouth, I'm thinking, okay, I've got careful. chills, yeah, actual yeah. chills. It was only you down from gone. there after that. I've gone. <laughs> I've gone. <laughs> I never thought I'd be here when you came back together. Uh, we're back, but you know what? You weren't far behind with uh, Into the Woods. Oh, there you go. See, so we're yeah. back together now. Tell me what you guys like most about this story. For me, like, I love the movie. Um, most animated movies are kind of made for adults now, like Pixar movies, and they're, they're masterpieces. They're beautiful, but it feels very adult. They're, they're dealing with very adult themes, and the, and the tone of the movie is, is super kind of... Um, there's just a lot of levels to it, and a lot of layers, which are which are really beautiful. But this movie felt like it was for kids. Like it really felt like it had a like a, a Warner Brothers Looney Tunes sort of like kind of antique to it. And I don't know. I just that's that's what I grew up on. So that's what I loved about it. I, I love that. That's one of the things that when I locked eyes, it's kind of got a Looney Tunes thing to it. Yeah. How are you like your character in this film? I don't I don't think there's too many similarities. I would never go to such lengths to do anything really I, I can barely leave the house so um, I mean we I guess we're similar in that he has a, a show on TV and, and and I have a show on TV but but luckily touch wood um, I, I've not um, had to go to such extreme lengths to, to try to to no. prove my success anywhere but um I mean the, the thing I, I really loved most about the film when I, when I spoke to Kerry who wrote and directed the movie was he, he showed me this incredible animation on the Yetis where they have, uh, these animators um, at extreme time and cost but essentially place every single hair on these Yetis so the whole thing moves in a way that I've never really seen an animated film before. So when you couple the kind of most forward thinking animation with a story that I think no parent wouldn't want their kids to hear, you end up with, with what I think is a really beautiful time in a, in a movie theater, you know? Mm -hmm. What do you like most about voice acting? How is it different than the live acting? Actually, this is for both of you guys. You can't do anything wrong. Like, you know, I've done a take before where I'm just like, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I didn't say I was good. I said I was available. So uh, <laughs> I, I really, I, I sincerely apologize. But you don't ever really feel that in, in animation just because there is, there's, there's nothing that you're really trying to hit in a way because it, it's not, I don't know, it's just such a different experience. Uh, you're animating and then, or you're, you're giving the voice and someone else is gonna animate to it to make it feel like it lives in the world. And I, I don't know, so it's just, there's a net. We kind of talked about it at Peter Rabbit, but I mean, it, it is a different style. Mind, mind, does your mind go somewhere else when you're kind of, it seems like it'd be more challenging to do voice acting because you're not really, when well, you're live acting, you're being yourself. You're, you know, you're that character. Well, I don't, yes, but I think, uh, Channing's right, fundamentally at the core, you, you can, the thing I really enjoy about it, the thing I really love about doing it is that you have the freedom to explore perhaps going down a dead end of something where you can go, you know, that didn't really work, we can come back and do here. Whereas all of the time on a, on a, on a movie, on a, where a live action film, your greatest expense will be time. From the second the day starts, mm -hmm. there's a clock on the day that says we have to film this many pages by the end of the day. In this, you can go back and go, as I, I said to Kerry at one point, I said, I think, can we go back and do those two scenes we did last time? I feel like there's something else we can find. And you're constantly evolving it and constantly changing it. And that is a real luxury that often you wouldn't have as a, mm. as a director on, a, on what you would call, you know, a, a traditional film set. 